For this visit, we are indeed we are indeed very very happy. On behalf of my chiefs, members of the royal family here present, I wish to welcome you all to this uh, auspicious uh, visit to the palace. This is incredible. I see a lot of things I can speak about here. But I know you are... Today is a, is a major event for ATC. Rally with the Vice President here. The Senate President here. The Senate President which uh, <laughs> and I will repeat it out. <laughs> I wish my to him as he came in. Something. I hope you are taking notes. Sir, you Thank you very much. Minister of the President. APC Chief Chairs here present. I thank all of you. You know, I have to be very careful what I say. So please, uh, you bear with me if, if I seem to be selecting my words very carefully. I don't want to be taken out of context one day or quoted out of context. I heard a uh, I've heard a speech, noted the uh, premium, the historical recognition of the Benin Kingdom, the, 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 the traditional institution of Benin, the culture of Benin, which is also the culture of Nigeria. We are, we are proud to be representing not only Benin, but representing Nigeria, and representing Africa. Africa. You know, many people do not, uh, maybe perhaps not realize that 
the international passport to carry today. There's a symbol of the new culture on it. I hope you're all aware. Maybe some people are not aware. The man of India, the ACD, is on that passport. Symbolizing representation of the entire nation which Benin stands for. So I thank you very much. Uh, there are many things I want to reserve for private uh, discussion later. All I can say now is uh, I know you are, you are going for a rally, you are, not, you are already doing it. I want to thank you very much. I want to wish you well. I want to uh, I, I, I want to assure you that the historical recognition that you have uh, expressed, we we'll try and we do our best to keep it up. All the things you said, we we'll do our best. As I always say, it's work in progress to make this uh, peaceful transfer in the, uh, in the state and uh, in the nation. Mr. Vice President, I thank you very much for this visit. The Senate President, I greet you again. The National, the National Chairman, Says, when a king has good counselors, his reign is peaceful. As I stand here today in this ancient city of Benin, I am reminded of a story that exemplifies the wisdom of our ancestors. In the 15th century, a Portuguese explorer named Rui de Sequeira arrived on the shores of the Benin Kingdom. He was outstanding by what he found. Not a primitive settlement, as he might have expected, as a European colonist, but a sophisticated city with wide, straight streets and high houses. <laughs> the explorer wrote in his journal, this city is as large as Lisbon. The houses are built of mud, in the passion of those in the Canary Islands, it is a very well-governed city. There is no theft or injustice here. This account, Your Imperial Majesty, speaks volumes about the advanced civilization that your ancestors built and maintained long before European contact. It is a testament to the ingenuity, organization, and wisdom that have been hallmarks of the Benin Kingdom for centuries. Your Majesty, as we gather in your presence, we are not just in the company of a monarch, but in the presence of living history. A continuation of that same wisdom and governance that so impressed visitors to your kingdom hundreds of years ago. For those not versatile with the tradition, with the respect, with the trajectory of the Benin kingdom, the Imperial Majesty, I pray for your forgiveness for the indiscretions of some of my overzealous security aides. They don't know the Benin kingdom. Your Majesty, your ascension to the throne as over a war is second in 2016. Mark a new chapter in this illustrious history. You bear the name of one of the greatest of us in Benin history, over a war is the great, who ruled in the 15th century. <laughs> and whose reign ushered in a golden age for the kingdom. Like your namesake, you have shown remarkable leadership continuing to uphold the rich traditions of your ancestors 
while embracing progress and development for your people. We would not intend to play to the gallery, and if I do so, I owe nobody any apology. You are one of the most respected leaders in this country. <laughs> Under your guidance, the Benin Kingdom has remained a home of cultural preservation and a model of traditional governance in modern times. Your efforts in promoting Benin culture, fostering unity amongst your people, and advocating for the return of stolen Benin artifacts have not gone unnoticed. The recent return of some of these priceless cultural treasures is a visible evidence to your tireless efforts and diplomatic skills. <laughs> your Majesty, the stability and social cohesion that you have maintained in your kingdom commendable. In an era of rapid change, you have skillfully balanced tradition with modernity, ensuring that the values and customs of the Benin people are preserved, while also embracing positive developments that benefit your subjects. Your Majesty, I bring you warm greetings and felicitations from my boss, the indefatigable Bola Ahmed Tinibu. <laughs> President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And assurances of the federal government's unwavering support for traditional institutions like yours. The President, Your Majesty, is the Jagaba of Borgo and the Ashwajo of Lagos. Your Majesty, our administration recognizes the crucial role that royal fathers play as custodians of our cultural heritage and as key stakeholders in national development. We are committed to engaging with traditional rulers across the nation, tapping into your wisdom and leveraging on your influence to foster peace, unity, and progress in our great country. Your role in conflict resolution, in promoting harmonious coexistence, and in guiding our youth cannot be overemphasized. As we approach the governorship election in the great beautiful state of Edo, we seek your blessings and counsel. Our party's candidate, Senator Monde Okpebolo, comes with a vision of progress and development for Edo State, building on the illustrious history of this great land. We believe that with your support and the collective will of the Edo people, we can